Enscape 3.5 was released recently with a bunch of amazing new features and in this video I will be talking about the most awaited customizable assets feature of Enscape 3.5. Let's get started. Here I have this project file open which I will be using to demonstrate how to use this new customizable assets feature. Let's open up the asset library. And you can see here that all the assets in the Enscape library have this number at the corner like 1 slash 1. This indicates the number of variations that are available for this asset. And there are two types of customizable assets. Assets with variants and assets you can change the color or material of. The quickest way to find the new customizable assets is by filtering the adjustable tag here. And we have a thousand customizable assets available and if you notice most of these assets still show one of one even though they are customizable. Which means that even if there is just one variant we can still change the color or material of these assets. Let's add an asset to the scene and as usual we can place an asset in our design application or directly in Enscape. Keep in mind that in Enscape 3.5 you will have to click twice to place an asset. If the asset has multiple variants, you will be able to see the thumbnails of other variants by clicking once and then you can select it by clicking twice. Let's click twice to select this card and add it to our project. Perfect. Now to customize this asset, we need to move to Enscape. Go to the asset window and then select the card. Here you will notice this little circular symbol that indicates that this asset is customizable. Let's click it and here you will find the material options. With this asset we have color options only but with some other assets you will find the material change option as well. Anyway let's choose a color from here and you will notice the changes applied instantly to the scene. And if you have a specific color code that you would like to use, you can do that as well in the advanced tab. Now let's apply the changes and take a look at the other customizable asset option which is assets with variants. Here I have this chair which I want to replace. Let's delete this first. And open the assets window and apply the adjustable tag here. If you notice in the Enscape Asset Library window, we don't see one of one on each thumbnail. But clicking an asset will show us if there is any variance available. Let's search for a chair here. I want to use this one. Let's click it. And we have four variants for this chair. I'm going to add this one here. Press the Escape key once and select the asset again to change the variant. Let's select this one and we have color options for this asset as well. Let's quickly adjust the placement and now let's move on to the selection options. With Enscape 3.5 we can multi-select and customize assets in the Enscape window. To multi-select assets right click on the asset and select all. Now you will be able to customize them all at once which would be very useful and time saving. Another method of selecting multiple assets by holding the shift key and the left mouse button and dragging the selection frame. This also helps to change through variations on multiple assets at once. So this was a quick demo of the new Enscape 3.5 customizable assets feature. Apart from this there have been improvements made regarding reflections, indirect lighting, alpha channel export for semi-transparent materials, unique people assets and more. If you want to know more about what's new in Enscape 3.5 make sure to check out the links in the description. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.